Okay, I just took them out of the sheath, people. I'm in my playground. And I decided today that I'm going to throw my least expensive sog knives in that board, which is brutal. Don't, not every knife can take this test here. That board is brutal, and y'all see me throw my folders, my sog folders. So I know, I do know, if they're tough or can take it. Okay, this is the SOG Bushcraft. You can get this nail about anywhere, very inexpensive. This is the SOG Ace, very inexpensive. These all have a rubberized handle for gripping. And here's your SOG Fill Knife, very inexpensive, okay? This is full tang. This is full tang. This is not. I'm gonna throw them in that board, okay? All right, this board here is brutal, okay? Y'all see me, I throw my, my uh, folders too. I throw a lot of my knives. There's a lot that I don't throw, I collect them. Those are the collectibles, but all the other ones, I test them. That's why I came up kind of with the name, the saw grunt. I do something that you shouldn't do with your knives to see if they're tough before you buy them. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what I do. Don't throw your folders. But these are very inexpensive and they're tough. They're worth the money and they're very dependable. Went in deep too. Okay guys. That's the SOG Bushcraft. So you get a closer look there. Okay. Very affordable. You can get that on Amazon, on any knife site probably. Here's the SOG Fill Knife. This is a great knife right here. And then the SOG Ace. And I believe they're all... Uh, Obtain, obtain, obtainable, excuse me, I just got off work, on just about anywhere, okay? Inexpensive, but not cheap, you know what I mean? It's good quality. Okay, y'all take care, I'm enjoying the weather here. Sog out. I'm gonna be out here a while.